get into real quickly KOF Destiny. Who, who's been watching it? I've just been quietly in love with it, just because it's just it's just so corny, and like I live for corny, just like because I always liked like the old fashioned feel of like just the really just like how like I think like Fatal Fury kind of like dialogue where it's just all this silly stuff that barely makes any sense, and it's just it tries it does have like it just. It tries to be like this serious little thing, but at the same time, it's just so shameless about being corny yeah. and being kind of cheesy and just seeing Rio on a tiny bicycle yeah. trying his very best to get where he needs to go just sort of sold me immediately. Right. Like, I just saw it and I was like, okay, I can't put this off anymore. I need to see this in motion. Okay, so you remember a lot from all the episodes, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um. Or oh, the first three. All right, so... I'm going to show just a brief little preview clip of the first episode, and then we'll go into it, and then go into the next one, um, and so on. So we'll be right back. King of Fighters. Three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year-old-three-year
just something just something silly and out there but like amusing to watch yeah. and also i'm kind of like weirded out by the hairstyle choice they had for billy <laughs> it's actually the same one as one of the uh fatal fury pachinko machines um has that haircut and just looking at it i'm like this is so weird. I'm not used to Billy having black hair for one, and it's just a really stupid haircut. Yeah. And it's like, what made them have that choice of giving him that instead of either the bald look or the blonde look that he usually has? Right. It's uh, kind of, it weirds me out. <laughs> all right. I want to show a little preview clip of the second episode real quick. So we'll uh, be right back. これがこのステレ。これがギースカナ。あいつ。ギースに伝えろ。極限流の Yo, I like that fight um, between the Billy and um, you know and, uh, Rio. And that was pretty cool. It was really cool. It had a lot of the sound of everything was pretty familiar. Um, what is that? What would you even call that? Uh, sound effects? Not quite. I guess it would be sound effects. Um, ben and Maru being an idiot and trying to fight them both at once was. <laughs> pretty amusing and one of the thing another thing that i really like about this series is just daimon's presence yeah um for one he's just he's there but he like adds a lot in in like comedic effects yeah um it's always beneficial because i really like the dynamic that is kyo daimon and benemaru that's always been a really good dynamic within the games where you know you just have this punk kid you have this slightly older kid, I don't know how, I don't remember how old Ben Amaro is. I think he's probably in his 20s. Um, he's really fashionable, but also really full of himself. Has an ego the size of his hair. And then you have Daimon, who's an adult, has children and kids and stuff. It just sort of takes care of them and keeps watch, but kind of gives them a respectful space. But mm -hmm. just sort of reminds them, hey, don't be idiot. And it's really good. It's just really, like, it's fun. Um... I really liked seeing Tiny Andy. Uh, he was kind of cute. Yeah. Uh, little 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 Andy and little uh, Terry are really adorable. <laughs> um, and just the little scenes with the um, with the random mooks and stuff. Geese's little henchmen. Yeah. Um, just trying their best, but not quite working out is always really funny to watch. All right. Um. Let's uh show um clips from episode three because I, I have questions about that so yeah we'll be back ゆりちゃんが家出したんやなんだと鬼かが帝王室に出ちゃダメだってこうなったら自分でなんとかするオンゾーシなんだから一人一人探すくらい簡単だろサウスタウンに赤いキャップで赤いジャケットを着た格
crawled over into King of Fighters just because of the roster that they brought. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of environment uh, came, a lot of, you know, weight comes from Fatal Fury and stuff and Geese and um, all of that area as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, it's funny. I like Angelina. They gave her like her little like name title. I'm like, I don't know this person. Like, well, now you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Um, it's been a while. I don't really know a lot about her, but I believe the first time that I saw her was in one of the fi old Fatal Fury movies. Oh, the anime, um, okay. Yeah, one of the anime movies. Um, they're really funny to watch, too. Um, she's just sort of there. She's like a, she's supposed to be like a love interest for Terry. Yeah. Um, and it's just sort of like, that's sort of just her purpose. She's a lampshade. <laughs> in all, in all intents and purposes, she's kind of just a lampshade. Right. Uh, to be romanced. And the scene between her and Terry, where, like, she's flirting with him, but Terry doesn't quite, like, pick up on it. And it's just sort of, like, really awkward, but kind of, like, funny awkward, but also, like, Terry, please. Yeah. You, you little green bean, like, notice. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know what? Um, Maybe for the next podcast, we could just talk about the whole show. Because, yeah, there, there's a lot. <laughs> I feel so. Um, episode uh, four. So it's like every Thursday these episodes come out on Steam. Is it Thursday? No, it's Wednesday. Wednesday? So that'll be tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. But yo, check out. I guess I I don't know when they come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah. If it's Thursday, Thursday's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be episode four. All right. Cool. So um, yeah, check it out, and we'll we'll talk more about Somewhere. it some other time. But, um, yeah, thanks for the uh, input, guys.